let's talk about it. Did you like that? You know, Heather, I'm the one that says let's talk about it. Okay, hold on, we'll do this again. Where are them stickers at? Let's talk about it. Do you feel better now? <laughs> that was showing my approval. You really just did that. Yeah. Did you like it? Funko has been sending out a ton of Funko Pops without stickers on it. Why would they do that? I have no idea. And this happened with all the Kramer Funko Pops. What's really funny is that right before we sat down to record this, our friend JP sent us a picture of their Kramers missing stickers on Instagram. No one's getting stickers? Boxes are coming damaged? What's going on? We don't need to talk about the damage because most of that is United States Postal Service fault. There's a lot of Ghost Riders showing up damaged. We should talk about it. Okay, but if people's boxes get kicked, then... It's Funko's fault. You're right. No, it isn't. We're going to blame Funko for that. And also, I would just like to note that Pop Rides and 10-inch Funko Pops are really hard to keep a good box on. Oh, come on. That's a silly excuse. Who are you working for? You, you working for Funko or something? No, I'm being You're wearing serious. an earpiece? Don't touch my hair like that. It was looking good today, and now you got your fucking filthy hands all it. It looks great. It even looks better when you're doing that. Are you calling my face ugly? No. It looks cool. You look like a poodle when you do that. I really don't understand the sticker thing. My guess is that at the factories, they put the pop in the insert, they put the insert and pop into the box, and they slap a sticker on it, and then they put it into a sorter. Why would they forget a sticker. I don't know. I don't know how you could forget the sticker. It doesn't make any sense. This happens even sometimes with Hot Topic. But this time, Funko Shop is an actual culprit. Which makes no sense. I could understand Hot Topic because maybe, okay, maybe at the warehouse they're putting stickers on. But I don't even think that that's true. I don't know where their stickers are being put on. I, I don't think we've ever gotten a clear answer on that. But what's even crazier is the amount of money that Funko is spending to send stickers out to people. Yes. Because if you do do not have a sticker, Funko will actually ship you a sticker. When I've gotten a replacement sticker, I've gotten them in a regular envelope. So that's a stamp and stamps are what, 55 cents right now? So not only are they wasting the 55 cents, they're wasting envelope cost, they're wasting hourly wages because the customer service has to deal with emailing people back saying, hey, we're gonna get you your sticker replacement out. And they're wasting money on people actually packing the stickers into the envelope and shipping the stickers out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, the weirdest one is Funko Shop, and not to mention, they did it with a three-pack Funko Pop set. It isn't like Porky the Pig went out with no sticker. It was a three Kramer set that went out with no stickers. I just think that they forgot to put their stickers on or something happened. Is it possible that there was a sticker shortage and they were just like, okay, we're not gonna put stickers on them, just ship them out and get them out of here? If it were a shortage though, wouldn't they wait to put them on the Funko Shop? You'd think so, but maybe they'll get a bunch of complaints that they're not showing up in time. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that could be happening behind the but scenes. But there is no on time with Funko Shop. Funko told us that Pietro was going to show up on the shop in March, and he didn't show up until April. What do dates matter? I mean, they didn't exclusively say, well, Kramer will be on the Funko Shop on this date. They never said that. I don't know. I mean, that's a good point, but Funko is apparently spending a lot of money on all of this stuff, especially if we're talking about stamps and the postage and then people working on everything in order to get the stuff out. It's not not very cheap and you think this is something that Funko would definitely fix. Do you remember for WonderCon the Enchantress was coming without stickers? Yes. And then they were shipping the stickers to Hot Topics and then some Enchantresses had like a Hot Topic sticker, some had the shared exclusive sticker, some had the Wondrous Con sticker. I mean it was a whole thing. Some some had all the stickers. Yeah it's ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Let's talk about the fan side. So somebody receives a Funko Pop and now they have to go through the extra steps of getting a sticker to put on their Funko Pop. Because for the most part, people really like the stickers. They want to have that sticker to show it's an exclusive. It also helps with reselling if they decide to resell it or trade it or whatever. You want to have that sticker. And it seems like Funko only gives you a certain amount of time or like a window where you can get a replacement sticker. One set that actually stands out to me is the two-pack Sonic set that came from GameStop. That set came with no sticker at all. And then they basically told you, okay, we'll reach out to Funko and they'll send you a sticker. You had to send a picture of your receipt to prove like the proof of purchase. Mm -hmm. That's a whole like thing you have to go through. What if you go and buy the Funko Pop set, say, in a town over from GameStop, you bring it home, 
You realize the sticker isn't on it when you get home. Whatever. However this works. Funko, can you send me a new sticker? And they come back, well, you need a receipt. Well, I threw my receipt away. Oh, well, you need a receipt. Now you're going to go back to the town over in order to get the receipt. It's garbage. No, Heather. It's trash. Well, the receipt is probably in the garbage. Yeah, no, it's, it's in the trash. And we saw it again very recently, like this week recently, with the Iron Man and Spider-Man that comes from the Avengers Campus. You expect to get the Funko Pop with the sticker on it to show that it is a Disney Park exclusive. To be honest with you, I didn't even look into how to get a sticker for this thing, because I really don't care that much, but I was definitely bummed out that it did not come with the sticker. It is nearly impossible to find Funko's contact information. Well, before we get into that topic, Heather, head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel and win big things. Like, uh, I don't know, this Blacklight Hulk? Who doesn't want that? Or my favorite thing, you get a Google Meet call once a month with Chris and I, and we love to interact with our patrons. So head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. It is very hard to find how to contact Funko from their website. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a contact us button, but it's mostly like FAQ sort of stuff. They outline, you know, I need help with this or I need help with that. So how'd you find it? What do I do if my order shows delivered, but I did not receive it? Ah, okay. If you have performed all of the above and still have not been able to locate your order please reach out to Funko support via the contact form and you click contact form and then you could submit a request ah well look at that so you had to dig deep in order to find that yeah I mean I'm sure it's not like crazy but it's like sort of inconvenient this actually works for box replacement because there have been a lot of boxes that are showing up at people's homes that are damaged the black light Ghost Rider Funko Pop seems to be one of those notorious Funko Pops that shows up damaged. But as you said at the beginning of the video, those Funko Pops are very big, so it's not hard to damage those boxes, but still, they should show up with minor, minor damage. Unless USPS or UPS or whoever ends up kicking it up your driveway. So, bottom line, Funko just needs to get their act together when it comes to the stickers because it costs them money and it costs us time in order to reach out to them to get the sticker replacement. Nobody wants to go through that and nobody wants to go through, hey, I got a damaged box, can you send me a replacement? And I'm sure Funko doesn't want to go through that one either because, again, that's more money out of Funko's pocket. You figure they would have learned by now. Right? <laughs> I received something that everybody loves. Hot Rocks! That one sold out. Never. I'm pretty sure it's still up on the website. Is it really? Oh my god. Yep, sure is. He's still up? Still up. Oh my god. This Funko Pop was actually shown on Glamour Funko's Instagram page. And she mentioned that it glows. Oh my god, it glows, she says. Well, she had to put out a separate post saying that it doesn't glow. It was under a black light. That's right. that's really what was going on. And I think anybody who collects Funko Pops would have realized that just by looking at the photo because all of the fire looks like blue. Like that right there. See all the blue? But obviously the Funko Pop did not glow. But I just want to say that this Funko Pop is actually very cool looking. I don't know why it received incredible hate. You know, we made a lot of jokes about it and how it didn't sell out and all that. But bottom line, this actually is a neat looking one. I don't really collect all of Infinity Warps, but I just liked... The th I like the thing and the human torch being like combined. I just thought it was kind of a sweet concept. Yeah, I still thought it was just the thing on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Heather thought that it was the thing actually running around on fire. Hey, I got a pop too. Oh, you do? Yeah, I don't want to feel left out. Can I open it? Yeah. It's really cool. Go ahead. I received a box from Poppin' Off Toys. Poppinofftoys.com? Heather, who are they? They are, in our opinion, the best place to pre-order your common and specialty series Funko Pops and sodas and mystery minis. It's Tina Voucher. Oh, that's awesome. You know, this is something I've been wanting to see in person because the new Pride Funko Pops, I've seen a lot of glams of them but I've never actually seen one like in hand. She is so much better than I thought she would be. Oh yeah, she's great. I love her so much. So do I, because some of the Pride Funko Pops, I think the last wave was sort of like translucent. Yes. Yeah, and this one is not, this one is more solid color. It reminds me almost like a candy or something. Yes, I'm so happy I, I bought her. And the back of the box actually 
uh, refers to the It Gets Better project, which is great and has a little readout there about the LGBTQ community. I think that Funko is doing a great thing. A lot of people are complaining. They're like, oh, well, this is an easy cash grab for Funko. But Funko is actually taking the money that they're earning from this and putting it towards a great cause. And I am totally fine with that. Me too. Yeah. There we go. What? Well, Tina likes butts, so she's looking at his butt. Uh, okay. Guys, what do you think about the Funko sticker situation? Isn't it crazy? Do you have any theories as to why that's happening? Also, what do you think about the Hot Rocks and the Pride Tina? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to mention four of our patrons from Patreon. We do this because we love to show that we appreciate all of your support. We'd like to thank Attila Hardy, Big Raj and Rosie Pereira, Blackal, and Brianna Bravo. You guys are awesome. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.